Hey people, Injured here and welcome to me playing yet another Warhammer 40k game. They're coming out of the walls now, you can't stop them. This is Armageddon from Slytherin, a game I've been looking forward to, to be honest, since it's a turn-based strategy game in the Warhammer 40k universe by a developer that seems to know what they're doing in that regard. So I was quite surprised when someone in the Elite Mod chat said, Hey Injured, have you played it yet? I was like, what? Is it out? And yes, it was out. It popped up November 26th and here it is in all its glory. We have an option screen, let's have a look at it. Very, very basic. Graphics, the map grid is default none, by the way, but I like to have some kind of grid there, so I'll put it on soft. No idea what unit glow is. And yeah, that's about it. So we have campaigns, a tutorial campaign and three acts. Nicely, it seems to let you choose uh, whatever act you want at whatever time you want. But these little blurbs here to the right seem to be very, very badly written. The grammar just seems off. So, come on, get your act together, Slytherin. Someone there must have an A-level in English or something. We've got multiplayer, which does allow you... You need to log in and, and register and all that stuff, which I haven't done yet. But apparently that's the only way you can play as Orcs, is in the multiplayer. And you've got a, a massive list of scenarios. I'm not sure if these are based on the campaign, if these are just the campaign levels able to be played whenever you want I'm not sure I haven't tried one yet we will try one later try and find one that has space marines in it. it doesn't actually tell you anything about them apart from this little bit of text which is unfortunate but we'll try the campaign I've done the tutorial so I shouldn't die too horribly and we'll go for act one invasion despite Yarek's efforts orcs invasion of Armageddon that's wrong takes imperial forces largely by surprise and hive after hive falls in orcs's hands Okay, I think Gollum wrote these. We're gonna normal challenging. What's the some experience game or similar war games? Normal. Let's put it on challenging. Let's do this. Fog of War. Yes. Undo. Yes. Play. Hundred. Proceed. I don't. I don't know what is happening. The so you get these crazy. talking Bear heads me, between the missions crazy. to tell you what's going on. The voice what acting is reasonable. Oh, so I get to choose a mission here, I think. You need to decide which assignment to accept. Governor Von Straub is demanding all Steel Legion battalions to attack. This is a challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alternative requires you remain okay. Hive Death Mile. As you know, so it's basically a counterattack or some kind of reconnaissance mission. Choose your mission. I want to kill orcs. Counterattack, please. Brave warriors of the Steel Legion. Yes, well done. It is a relief to be assigned as your community. Okay, well done. Let's get into the game. Okay, after locate the Orc War Boss, move at least four Steel Legion units adjacent to the War Boss, but do not destroy the War Boss unit. Okay, here it is, guys. Here's the game. Yes, it's 2D. You may have run screaming away from it by now, but I have, don't mind it. I don't mind 2D graphics. They're drawn nicely. Unfortunately, they're not they're not animated a lot. We'll get into that later, but yeah, I don't mind it. Look, we've got tanks and stuff drawn for us. Let's go through what we're seeing. Here's a menu top left. Yes, 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 yes. We've got glory, which is a resource. I have no idea what it does. We've got requisition, which is what you use to buy units. We've got how many turns have happened and stuff. And over here. We've got Purchase, where you can buy stuff, which is interesting, and you can cycle through units here. So, looks like it's already deployed me. Usually you get to deploy at the start of the mission, and it lets you upgrade your units and stuff. But it's not going to let me upgrade now. Here's the upgrade icon here. It's not letting me doing it. But let's go into the Purchase. And look how many units there are. It's crazy. And I've obviously not unlocked all of them since I'm still in Act 1. But there's a huge amount of units. Even aircraft, a vulture gunship. Okay, so let's look through what each unit has. We have a maximum strength. That's the amount of gunships in one unit. So there'd be seven at maximum strength. There's hit points. That's hit points per gunship. There's movement. So it can move five hexes. And the type of movement, which for... A gunship is in the air, hovering. We've got spotting, which is how many hexes it can see. We've got defense. You 
roll attack versus defense to see if you get damaged. Initiative, which is an interesting stat really. It's not I don't it's not uh when you go, since you can select any unit to take its turn whenever you want, it's how quickly they shoot back at something that's shooting at them. So if you have a really high initiative and a unit shoots at you, you might shoot first, so you'll get that first shot in. So initiative is important when counterattacking melee accuracy and ranged accuracy. We've got and now we have the weapon stats. The Vulture gunship has two LAS cannons and two Hellstrike missiles, both with a range of three. The attack strength of the Hellstrike missiles is 90, which is huge, so that will roll against a unit's defense. We've also got armor piercing, so you this will ignore 35% of the armor. The Hellstrike missiles, the LAS cannons ignore 20%. We've got how many shots it takes, so the Hellstrike you get one, and the Las, two las cannons get two shots each, I think, and the hell strikes shoot once each. We've got accuracy, and then accuracy per hex. And these little hollow circles here can be filled with traits, which none of these weapons have. But we do have a flyer trait. Let's see what that says: increased evasion against all attack and is immune to being assaulted. You can't assault something that's flying, obviously. So yeah, there's a lot of nice stats with the units. For example, look how many Lehman Russes there are. We have the Lehman Russ Vanquisher, which is in Dawn of War 2, of course. We've got a cost. We've got a Vanquisher cannon, a Heavy Bolter, and a Storm Bolter. Each unit can have up to three, I think maybe four, weapon systems, and they will all fire at the same time as long as they are all in range. As you can see, the Storm Bolter has a range of two, the Heavy Bolter has a range of three, and the Vanquisher cannon has a range of four. Some weapons have a minimum range as well, most likely artillery. Look at this. We have a Basilisk. We have a Bombard. We have a Medusa. We have a Griffin. We have a Wyvern. It's like Warhammer 40k porn in here. Look at the amount of tanks. And this is Act 1. Lehman Ross Conqueror. With a Conqueror Cannon. Where's the Punisher? That one's awesome. Where is it? I'm blind. There it is. I'm right on it. As you can see. 40 attack strength. And you get 6 shots. So awesome for shredding infantry. Since they're not going to have high defense or high armor ordinarily so yeah lots of options lots of decisions to be made in terms of your loadout this has a dozer upgrade what does that do increase strength doesn't seem to increase the defense I'm not sure what it does it has two heavy bolters that's not a dozer is it I'm not sure what the dozer does is it telling me no there's no trait icon there's nothing so I have no idea. I have no idea. But Annihilator that we have a... Look how many last cannons. Three last cannons and two heavy bolters. Two last cannons on the main turret and a last cannon underneath. So tons of last cannon shots. So good for hunting down vehicles, I'd say. With 65 attack strength and a decent 20% armor piercing from a range of three. What would be the best versus vehicles, though? Oh, Demolisher. Oh, it has a minimum and maximum range of two, though, so you're very, very limited where you can fire that from. Lehman Russ Eradicator with a Nova Cannon. Good grief. 90 attack strength and 20% armor piercing. Executioner with the Plasma Destroyer. Gets three shots at 60 strength, so that will be pretty good versus pretty much everything. Exterminator. Bunch of auto cannons on it. Three shots at 50 strength from each auto cannon, I think. So that's really good at shredding infantry as well. So lots and lots of options. What is this? A Thunderer. The Demolisher Cannon. Yeah, but it has no other weapons. Destroyer is, look at this, 90 attack strength and 45% armor piercing from a laser destroyer weapon, but it has no other weapons at all. So might be a bit vulnerable if stuff gets close. It has a good range. So yeah, as you can see, tons and tons of options in terms of what units you want. Let's still let's have a look at more of these because this is awesome. Devil Dog. These all use the same chassis, I think. So if you get a Salamander Scout, you can upgrade it to any of these, I believe. Devil Dog has a Melter Cannon. Oh, look at this, and it causes terror. Double Morale Penny. We've got Bane Wolf, which also has terror with a Chem Cannon. What's the difference between a Chem Cannon and an Inferno Cannon then? Inferno has more attack strength. Chem Cannon fires more times. Has four attacks instead of three. We've got a Taurus Venator with two Las Cannons on it. Look at this thing. Taurus. 
Taurus, it must be. We've got another Taurus with a heavy flame. We've got a Hydra with four auto cannons and a heavy bolter. It's just awesome. I'm just grinning looking at this stuff. Look at this infantry as well. We've got conscripts, we've got militia, we've got rattling snipers, we've got steel legion rough riders, we've got guy on horses with their hunting lances. Awesome. We've got we've got flamers, we've got anti-tank support with a missile launcher, we've got mortar team, we've got a heavy bolter team. But we can't purchase any of them because as you can see up in the top left we've got zero slots so we have to make do with the army they've given us and what have they given us we've got some flamer guys we've got a lehman russ annihilator we've got steel legion fire support with that heavy bolter oh we've got some rough riders we've got a regular lehman russ with a battle cannon and a las cannon and a basilisk with that earth shaker cannon as a six range as you can see three to six we've got some more flamer guys a sentinel with a las cannon on it so yeah that's that what are these stats you're seeing here as you can see that 20 is the unit strength we mean and there's 20 of these infantry in this squad you can imagine each number of strength means you know five infantry models so you've got like a hundred guys in this hex all milling around and they've got las guns with a range of two and really bad stats as you'd expect i suppose so in this instance the lehman russ has a strength of five so there's five lehman russes in this unit and they each have three hit points so when three hit points are down one of the lehman russes will die and I imagine as the strength goes down they're less effective at fighting defense of 60 initiative of 5. So what do you do? You move and you shoot. The mechanics are really quite simple. Most of the maps have you controlling these victory hexes which are the yellow outlines to be victorious. Is that where the war bosses maybe? Not sure. So far all of the victory hexes I've seen, well most of them have been in these buildings which only infantry can get inside so you can't just fill your army with vehicles because you won't be able to capture points oh this unit with the flamers have a transport and you can put them into their transport here they get a chimera with multi laser and heavy bolter you can get another transport as well but it's not letting me see them because I can't purchase these I think it's called a gorgon and it's it's brimming with weapons it looks awesome so let's start attacking stuff and you'll see the lack of animations there's no movement animations for, unfortunately they just kind of skirt along the map think of it as a board game really that was pretty loud but here's the chimera now in range to fire its multi laser and heavy bolter at some gretchens which have sluggers and choppers and war biker mobs with some daca guns with some decent stats there only a range of one but 40 attack strength and three shots from each of those two daca guns these are the, this is the first time i've really fought the orcs you fight them very very briefly at the end of the tutorial campaign so let's attack the gretchens there's tons of them in there their strength of 40 as you can see you do get some weapon animations unfortunately you don't get any melee animations i don't think from what i've seen i have used these guys before the steel legion company command and they do have a power sword and they also have the assault trait which means if you're oh let's let's let that tell you if you're close enough you'll exchange fire and then you will assault the unit which ignores cover but it doesn't seem to be an, an, an animation for that what is this leadership morale boost but I don't know where the morale is is this the morale these skulls I think that's XP so I'm not exactly sure where the morale is the manual mentions several times it mentions uh, ammo but they seem to have stripped that from the game because there's no ammo at all that I can see I think they've taken that out then that salamander scouts are awesome in my experience they have really good movement speed auto cannon and a heavy bolter so let's get this guy close and try and take out some war bikers. They will shoot back. But we wiped them out. So this is the game, guys, basically. 2D. Lots and lots of unit variety. Attack and move. Let's get our 
Rough Riders. How are you supposed to use these, use these guys? They have a melee attack with 48 strength and two of them. So I suppose you got to get them close. Let's go around here. Really good movement speed, as you can see. Unfortunately, there's no movement animations. Just some simple animations really would have brought it to life a bit more. It's a little bit abstract. It's flat for use of a better term. Flamer guys have a zero range, so basically melee range. But as you can see, 30 attack strength with four attacks from the flamers. Let's fire our Lehman Russ. We'll get a battle cannon and a last cannon shot and try and take out this little grot tank, which have an amazing weapon. Look at this. They have a custom mega blaster, That's I suppose that is, at 80% accuracy. Can we take it out? No. And we took one of them down. One of the seven down. Can't get those guys close enough. I'm playing terribly as I'm explaining stuff to you. Let's get the Basilisk close. I don't need to. We can shoot straight at the Grot Tank with our Earth Shaker. Can we take it out? No. Took two of the strength off. What are these guys? Knobs. Good grief. They have shooters and choppers. That's bad. That's bad. What is this? War Track Scorcher. More Gretchens. As I lose stuff, which I inevitably will, you can replace it, which is cool. I'm going to fire my Wyvern now with two Storm Shard what? Two Storm Shard what? I don't even know what that is. Can we find out? Vehicle, Wyvern. Where's the Wyvern? Artillery, is it? Yes. Two Storm Shard Mortars. Okay. 35 attack strength from a range of three now each attack four times or does that take into account the amount of weapons there are i'm not sure might be that they only attack two times each but let's attack so yeah some decent some decent attack animations from the guns but otherwise it's not a looker is it it's a board game basically think of it like that guys i don't mind it at all but there will be people who do will get inside this chimera and bring up my flamer guys and take a shot with multi laser and heavy bolter these guys can't move who else can move and stuff the sentinel with a las cannon this is all path blocks this cliff so i can't go through i can't take a shot at his gretchen what are gretchen gonna do to a lehman rice really surely nothing Basilisk can move. As you, as you saw, I took the attack first. You don't need to move, then attack. You can attack and then move. And you see the bullet icon means it has an attack and the arrow icon means that it can move. I have my Lehman Russ Annihilator, which I want to attack a vehicle with, but I can't get in range of any of them. I will bring it down here to support the Rough Riders. I've got my Steel Legion Company Command. They're basically Steel Legion, but they get the leadership trait and they get a guy with a power sword in there or a couple of guys maybe because you get two attacks i've got my steel legion fire support with a heavy bolt up cannot move very far at all and i've actually already moved them when i was screwing around at the start and that's it let's end the turn now the orcs attack me oh first time i've seen a talking head during a mission Decent voice work, as I said. Nothing to complain about, really. Rough Riders, yes. I can get a melee attack on the Gretchen. And they should fire their las guns as well. And then the Gretchen will fire their sluggers. And then we'll go into combat. I have much, much higher initiative. As you can see, I have initiative 9 on these guys. And they have initiative 1. Ouch, they really hurt me in close combat. As you can see, absolutely no animations for close combat at all. It just happens after you shoot. And they really hurt me there. I suppose 40 of them, or 30 something, whatever it was, all hitting at 20 attack strength is going to hurt. I have 48 attack strength, but far fewer numbers. Let's get my Annihilator up. I can take a shot at this War Truck Scorcher with two Scorchers on it. And did some good damage. They get six shots each. Ouch. No armor penetration. 40 strength, so my 
Lehman Russ's 65 defense should be fine there and not take any damage, I don't think. Maybe there are critical attacks or something that can damage you. Lehman Russ, I'm going to fight at the Grot Tank. Never even heard of a Grot Tank before. There you go. I can't get these Flamer guys close enough, so let's put them inside the Chimera so they can fire. Hopefully, they can take out the Grot Tank. Grot Tank has a defense of 58. And I don't think I can damage it with my attack strength of 20 and 40. As you can see, when you hover over, you do get this little report of minus 2, minus 0. I'm not sure what that means, but it doesn't seem to relate to what happens a lot of the time. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't do any damage, as I thought. And that thing got to attack first. It has an initiative of 6. You've already attacked. Basilisk. Can finish off the Grot Tank, yes. Knobs haven't moved yet, they are worrying me. Because there's 30 of them. And they have some decent shooters and choppers. And they're going to hurt, aren't they? 33 defense and good initiative as well. Okay, these are regular Steel Legion infantry. Infantry do better in tight areas like jungles and stuff they can do they can move and do better than vehicles in those kind of situations flamers whoa wiped them out flamers are awesome so we don't want to fight these guys again I've already moved so they might finish them off next turn yep get these guys into their chimera and move them up Who else needs to move? Oh, you can move, but I don't want to move you. Oh, you can move and shoot. What are you, though? Just regular infantry. Do we want... We'll get up here and shoot at these guys. With my las gun. Did some damage. Nob squad could counter charge, though. Anyone else? The company command can get inside their transport. Move here. And shoot at some witness. What are these now? Some shooter boys with shooters, as you'd expect. 25% armor piercing from their shooters. Well, how does that work? Hmm. No idea. No idea why they have armor piercing on shooters. I think that's everyone. No. I have a Salamander Scout, and these things are awesome. How much damage it did with the auto cannon and heavy bolt. A really good mix of weapons on this thing. Not the strongest vehicle, obviously, with 51 hit defense and 2 hit points per strength, but not bad. Anyone else? The Wyvern with those storm shard mortars. Can we get close enough to shoot them? Though? No, we can't. Only a range of 2 or 3. And I've put myself on this plateau, which I can't get off. These can all just move. I don't want to move them. So let's end the turn. They're going to assault those Rough Riders and they take them out. Ouch. That was bad. Some more war bike orcs moving up. War biker mobs. Gretchen's really are tough, aren't they? There's so many of them. They move up my Lehman Rice. Take a shot at the war bikers. And I can move up my flame, guys, because you know these really hurt Gretchen's. Look at that. Minus 22 to minus 5. Let's see if it actually does take 22 strength off them. They got the first shot. No, I don't think it did take 22, did it? Or did it? Should have made a note of what, of what it was first, you idiot. Sentinel can move up and fire. Doesn't do a lot. Only a single last cannon on that thing. Can we finish off the Gretchen? Or finish off the war bikers. I think I'd rather do that. Yes. Basilisk is awesome. And these are oh, these are the company commands, so they will get a assault afterwards. Let's do that. Finish them off? Yes, well done. Regular Steel Legion. Not a lot I can do. I might want to get inside my Chimera in fact to fight these knobs they got the first shot with their seven initiative damn them salamander 
Doing tons of damage as usual. My flamers can move up and finish them off. Excellent. It seems like another another gun fires there, but I don't have another weapon listed on their unit card, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I have my fire support. I'll get inside my Chimera. Gets me close enough to attack. The Scorcher. Yes. Take one strength off it. Annihilator might be able to finish it off. Yes, beautiful. So where is this war boss? Is he down there? I think it's just these are all just orc camps. Must be in one of them though. Do I have a turn limit? It says turn 3 out of 13. I might do. What else is there? You guys can move. You can move. Um, down there. The boy can move. Not very far. Salamander Scout. Can't attack but can move up to here. These shooter boys with their armor piercing is worrying. What's that all about? Generally they've done a very good job I think with the weapons. Obviously they they know a fair amount about the universe. They've given weapons the stats you would think they'd have. I think that's everyone who can attack. Yeah. Move this guy up. And then in turn. Shooters taking shots. Gretchen trying to attack my tank. There is this button here which is confusing. It's called... Oh, it doesn't light up. Here it is. Rest and refit, which apparently replenishes your ammo. But ammo is not a thing in the game anymore, so I'm not sure if it does anything. We're going to take a shot at these knobs. Smack. And can we get my wyvern close enough? I guess we can with my two storm shard mortars. Let's go. Did tons of damage. The flamers should be able to finish them off. They did get a shot back though. That's nasty. You can use the reinforcements icon down here to reinforce your infantry as well to get their strength back up. It does take their entire turn. Using las cannons to kill Gretchen's a bit, a bit of overkill there, Andrew, but we'll take it. Salamander Scout should be able to finish them off. Yes, and there is another Grot tank, so it's a good thing I brought my tank down there. Let's get inside my Chimera, move up, and take some shots. Not a whole lot achieved. Can we finish off these Gretchen's, please? They're annoying me. Flamers finish them off. Well done. Now I'm inside this victory hex, but victory hexes do not matter on this scenario. I need to capture that war boss. Getting four units around him without killing him. Is there going to be something in each of these then? Not sure. Anyone else who can attack? Yes. My regular infantry can attack. Get here and get some shots. Might as well just keep them in the Chimera all the time until they need to capture a point. Because they're quite useless without it with their las guns. You can move. Who's this? Oh, these guys can move as well. Can you fire down from the. Yes, you can. Awesome. Nothing. Nobody did any damage. Okay. Who else? You can move. One. Is that, is that path blocked completely? No, I don't think so. Enter. As you saw there, multiple units firing, which might confuse it. It's because the Wyvern has this trait, support, which means it will provide supporting fire to adjacent friendly units. So because those shooters shot at my Steel Legion, the Wyvern, with that support trait, got a shot of its own. These guys with the Heavy Bolt are going to take some shots. Wow, did a lot of damage, as you can see. 30, 30 attack strength with 4 shots. 
hurt the shooter boys with their 31 defense. These are none of these are flamer guys. These guys, now these are company commands. Let's move them up and they'll be able to assault. You. And you'll see that zero, two, they'll go down to zero because of that assault. What is this? Another grot tank here with some mortars. Yes. Ouch, took some damage. Okay, you need my Lehman Russ down here. Can't move very far, can they, Lehman Russes? Move up my Sentinel. Doesn't seem to be anything in these places. Not sure why that icon is supposed to represent that it's owned by orcs, I suppose. Nothing more. Oh, there is something in here. Are they spawning out of these places? Let's shoot them. Ask questions later. Didn't do a lot of damage. The settlement must provide a lot of cover. Yeah, 40% cover because they're in this settlement. I suppose that makes sense. What else we got? We have my Steel Legion infantry. Regular old infantry are going to get inside their camera and take some shots. As far as I can tell, there are no directional bonuses. You don't flank units or anything. What is this? Gun wagon with a zap gun. 80 attack strength. Good grief. With a range of three, that thing needs to die. I only have 50 defense on my Chimera. So that's going to be painful. Really, really painful. Heavy weapon dudes. Going to get in there, Chimera. Oh, there's the war boss. Okay. So I need to surround that with four units. That shouldn't be too difficult. Salamander can take some shots. And hopefully you can finish it off no and I think he is path blocked here that's why he can't move that's stupid move up that way gonna go after the war boss now nothing doing basilisk has already fired I have flamer dudes But so what if I have flame dudes? What are these shooters? Just move up and kill them anyway. And turn. Grot tank. Are they in the tabletop? Grot tanks? I don't think they are. I don't think half of these things are in the tabletop. This gun wagon with a zap gun. Awesome to see them though. I, I suppose they're in the Imperial armor books or something, or the epic scale books. Apocalypse, maybe. Flame. Did a lot of damage, but not enough. Sentinel. Can't do a whole lot with its LAS cannon, but it is very quick. And does it have good sight range? I can't tell from the unit card. I wish it gave me more stats here. Does it give you movement speed that I can see, in a way? Have I lost a unit yet? I have lost a unit, so I can purchase something. What are we going to get, guys? We've got to get. We've got to try this thing out. The Vulture gunship costs six, four, five, two Hellstrike strike missiles, two las cannons. It looks awesome. We'll take it, please. And they do carry through between missions. I'm pretty sure. I should have loaded my save game actually from the tutorial because I would have had the units that I finished it with. But hey. We have to deploy it on those deployment squares, the hexes even, and now it can move up afterwards. Next turn. Next unit even. Ah, the Basilis can get a shot. On this from there, really? Six range, baby. Smack. Wyvern gets a shot in. Uh, regular infantry are going to get roasted by anything need to move these guys up can't move you can you finish off this grot tank yes you can well done Lehman Russ move up. can't fire at this unfortunately I can't do a lot there so do we move our wagon up yes we do so that's three units surrounding it so far. Need to take out. Oh, shooter boys with a big shooter. 
big shooter sub what is that support I'm not sure but it painful Come on, shooter boys out in the open. Let's kill them. Flamer dudes can't attack. You've already attacked also. Can you move yet? Nope. Next turn. Annihilator needs to move. Some more shooter boys coming in from there. Is that everyone? That's a t Has everyone attacked? Oh, you can attack. You're a chimera. And uh, these guys. Hopefully, this zap gun doesn't just one shot something. With that 80 attack strength, good grief. Shouldn't have done that. I lost some attacks I'd lost some strength, unit strength for no reason. And I don't think there's a there's a way to recover it. We'll see about that, but Gug. Don't think there's a way to replenish strength in the field for your vehicles. I don't think refit and rest does that. Maybe we'll try it next turn. Let's go. Some supporting fire for my infantry there. Okay, we need to kill these shooter boys. Why are they so tough? Yeah, they do have the support trait, as you can see. Doesn't let me select enemy units so that I can mouse over their stuff, which is annoying. Oh, they took him out. That was dumb. That was dumb. So let's see what this does. Rest and refit. Doesn't tell me what it does. We've done it. Have we? Yes. At two strength. Let's see if they get any more. Okay. So they just need to surround it with one more unit, but I can't budge these shooters. So Commander, take some shots. Yes. Now they're going down. Now they're going down. Surely! Heavy bottle doesn't take them out. It's got one strength, this guy. That's why. Company command. You can move up and assault. And finish them off. And now you can move there. And that's... What I need to do, right? Can I see my objectives anywhere? Nope. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, let's bring my gunship in. There's some nice sound effects at least. Very loud sound effects. But no animations on movement. You're not going to attack anything. You're going to get some reinforcements. There we go. Costs requisition. Oh. You can replace. You can use replacements on vehicles. I had no idea. Could I do that there? Damn it. Didn't see. You guys need replacements. You need to get inside your Chimera for defense. So I'm surrounding it with four units. Yes, there we go. Proceed. I ain't so I've well captured done, this guy, apparently. Keep the orc alive. I know there are many in the Officio Perfectus who wish to engage with the creature on your return to Imperial Town. High Volcanus has been lost. While your mission has been a success. Not yeah, 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 yeah. How is your battalion faring, Commander? Unfortunately, I haven't been able to make contact soon. It's been very... Some battalions have been knowingly sacrificed. I knew this counter-offensive was ill-conceived. I just assumed others above in the chain of command knew that... This is the second war of Armageddon, by the way. I'm not sure how accurate this is in portraying it. Secondary or oh, scenario objective, move auxiliary transport unit carrying carrying orc war boss to road at the far right what is it with warhammer games and typos we saw loads of them in in space hog ascension and now this with some really dodgy grammar okay oh this is that gorgon look at this thing four heavy stubbers four heavy bolters four mortars that is nuts we've got so we've got nothing oh we need to deploy everything else i suppose They've all got transports. This is where I can hopefully show you the upgrade interface. So let's select our salamander, upgrade, and now we can turn it in to all of these apart from the devil dog, it seems, because that's greyed out. Or is it greyed out? Yes, it is. So I can turn it into a bane wolf, hellhound, hydra, 
Salaman, oh, it's already Salaman, a Taurus Ventor or a Taurus. I do want, because those Orc infantry are difficult to get rid of, aren't they? So a Chem Cannon or a Flame Cannon would be good. Inferno Cannon, even. That's got a Heavy Flame and that's got an Inferno. What's better? Must be the Inferno, yes. We will go for the Inferno. Still have no idea how morale comes into the game. We'll get our Vulture gunships in. It won't reveal any enemies until I've ended deployment, by the way. My Wyvern up here. Lehman Russes can take punishment, so we'll put them at the front. I want my Hellhound at the front as well to flame the crap out of infantry. Steel Company, Steel Legion Company Command, even. And the Flamer Weppy Heavy Special Weapons, even. We've got fire supports. They're very slow pushing that heavy bolt around. Steel Legion Infantry. And another Lehman Russ. And my Basilisk, which is kicking ass. And a Sentinel, which doesn't seem to do a lot. But we'll put it in. There it is. Do I have any more slots? I have two more slots. So I can take two more things. Awesome. So we get some snipers just to see what they're like. Oh, it's not letting me. Why can't I? Oh, I don't have to requisition, you fool. Okay, that might have cost a lot, but I have that Gorgon, which is beastly. How much does this thing cost, I wonder? Can I see by doing this? Yes, the Gorgon costs 270 just for the transport. Wow. It's got amazing weapons, though, so let's see how this goes. End deploy. Oh, what is this? A big gun lobber. 30 attack strength, 4 shots, shouldn't be too much of a problem. We should have upgraded my Steel Legion, but I wasn't thinking. Take some last gun shots. Ouch. Finish it off, please. No. It's got 55 defense, this thing. How close can you get? Really, really close. Wow. Tons of damage from that thing. Um, move up in your transport. I need to take shots. Didn't finish it off though, you fool. Wyvern. There you go. Okay, everything. Get inside your primary. Here's the Gorgon. So, uh, what was it I needed to do again? I needed to, yeah, get the Gorgon into one of those hexes, I think. As you can see, it's incredibly slow. So I don't want to push up too much and leave it exposed. We'll just end turn there. My turn again. Gorgon, move up. Move everything up. Oh, these things, by the way, yeah, a Hell's Reach monster. They can attack you if you're in an in adjacent hex, as long as you're not in a vehicle. Which is bad. So you need to watch out for those things. Is there not going to be any kind of resistance? I'm nearly at the end there. Am I missing something? I might be missing something. Basilisk has moved, have you? Yes. And turn. Still nothing. Let's keep going. We'll send out these flamer guys in their kind of... Uh oh. And we found some. What is this? A gun truck with big lobber. Okay. 50 attack strength, 3 shots. Burner boys. And they have an assault trait there. So they can move in with their choppers afterwards. Let's get some Vulture gunship action. Can we take out? Oh. This is all line of sight blocked, so I can't attack anything past there, which is... And there's a creature there, a plant thing. 
Can I shoot the plant thing? No, I can't. Basilisk can't move. Really? Did I move that already? I suppose so. Is that everyone? It must be someone else. The Hellhound. Yes, flame. Huge, huge amounts of damage, even with the cover bonus from the settlement. I don't think they ignore cover, but did tons of damage in a way. What else is there? Oh, I've got my heavy bottle, guys. You can move up into here, actually, and put some more shots. Ouch, took some damage, though, as well. In turn, what's this lobber going to do to me? Odd boys with shooters. They're 45 defense. Not too bad. Let's move. Ouch, they painful those shooters. Can we finish them off? Yes, we can. Now move this into here for the defense bonus. Move my Lemon Rust up. Try and take out this gun truck with lobber. Did a good amount of damage. I got my annihilator right here. I need to try and upgrade this Lehman Russ next time because it's a bog standard one, not even with heavy bolters, which would help versus infantry quite a lot. My flamer guys getting flamed themselves. Ouch, that was painful. Wyvern. I don't think it's. Oh, it can shoot. It can shoot past here. Hmm. Why couldn't the gunship do it then? Surely we can finish this thing off. Yes. Okay, jumping on Chimera guys and taking shots. Another big lobber. It moved really far there. I suppose the roads give you a movement bonus. Doesn't tell me that, but. I'm going to have to assume so. Basilisk. Oh, there's a line of stuff here. And they're going to try and flank, aren't they? We want to get rid of these guys. Because they hurt. There we go. Who else is there? You can move. You're my hellhound. You'll be able to flame the crap out of those guys next turn. Who else do we have? You are not going to move. Actually... You can take a shot. Bastards, they shot first. Four initiative versus one, that's why. So initiative, very, very important. Uh-oh. That's a lot. Of, what is this? Support crates for the win. Wow. Out! Took my vulture gunship out. It only has 45 defense. That was painful. It does get that evasion bonus, whatever that means. What is this? A war buggy with rockets. Awesome. 75 attack strength. Are you crazy? We need to kill this thing. 49 defense. Can the Gorgon come into play? Yes, it can. Fired everything at it. That's kind of... That's a lot of stuff here. You can... Please, can you finish off these guys? No, you can't. That 45 defense. They did well. Need to bring my Annihilator back. You guys are in trouble. You're just regular infantry. Are you kidding me? Need to get inside your transport, I think. Kill some Gretchens. Wyvern. Try and finish off this thing. Yes. Basilisk now. Can you fire? No. Basilisk, try and take out this gut tank. Smack. Did nothing. Did nothing. Who else is there? You can move, but I don't want you to move. You can move, but I don't want you to move either. Don't want you to move. Don't want you to move. Don't want you to move. You can move and shoot. You want to take a shot here? Damn it. You're going to take a shot here. You're still alive. Are you kidding me? Um, just move there. Who else is there? Just 
There's people that can move. Do I have a, I have a slot now? Three slots now. But no requisition. Is there not a way to get more requisition during the mission? Do I need to capture these? There's a factory. Would that give me requisition? Maybe. Let's see. There's another factory over here. But they're already mine, aren't they? Because they've got the Imperialis on them. What is this glory? What does it do? No idea. Maybe they're like global abilities that you can activate, but I don't know. Let's end the turn. This is tough. I need to keep my Gorgon moving. Did it take my sentinel out? No, it lives. Ouch. Took you out, finally. Does this do anything when I get in here? Does it do anything? I'm not getting any more production. Requisition, even. Okay. Just run away, basically. Run! Flee! What is this? War bucket with rockets again. Really good initiative, these guys. Six in initiatives, so they're getting the first shots on. Okay, Lehman Russ, Annihilator. Almost took out the buggy. Almost. Basilisk, which might go down soon. Let's back up. Finish off this thing, please. No, it's got one, one left. Another Lehman Russ. Finish it off. Well done. Lehman Russes might save me here. Probably should not have purchased that gunship. It was most likely very expensive. I didn't even look at the price. Oh, it was 650 or something, wasn't it? Come on, can I get anything with glory? What does glory do? What does it do? Need to look in. It wasn't in. I don't think it's even mentioned in the manual. I did read the manual. Is that everyone gone? Oh, he can fire. A chimera. Well done. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. This might be very painful. Holy crap. Gun magma with cannon. Wiped out my sentinel. Wyvern lives. Yes. But now, you see that the sentinel's gone. I don't have line of sight around here. And Lehman Russes are getting battered. You need to go. I'm going to lose my entire army. Hmm. What do I do? Do I just leave? You're not doing anything for me in the factories, lads. So let's move. It lives, it remains. You can't even move. So this guy's gonna get owned next turn, I think. Who else is there? You can move, can you? Okay. Getting close. To what I assume is going to be victory. But they are chasing. Okay. Hellhound. Perfect for roasting Gretchens. Why didn't they die more than that? 
trees provide cover from flames today? Heavy stubbers. Not quite as good as heavy bolters, it seems. They don't have any advantages over heavy bolters, it looks like. Worse accuracy, less shots, less attack strength. That can't be right. Finish it. Yes. Basilisk. Move up. Annihilate to move up. Should have attacked first and then moved properly. I don't think this is a stand and fight kind of scenario. It's leave and run scenario. Oh boy. That's a lot of stuff. And he's probably dead next turn now. It is all infantry. Oh no, it's not. Gun wagon with cannon. I'm gonna lose this scenario, aren't I? Oh, what is this? Big track with kill cannon. They're just pulling units out of their ass now. What is that? Okay. Shouldn't have stopped. Should never have stopped. Rust is done for. Ow. That thing is mad. How are these guys so tough? It's a forest. Oh, did he get? I oh, got too close to use the Earth Shaker. Damn it! So I'm probably gonna lose this scenario. Yes, I've got no requisition to get anything else. Ouch. Three units left. If that. Two units left. Can I move? Oh, I can't move far enough. Can my Gorgon withstand all of this stuff for one turn? There's 60 defense. No, lose. Lose, defeat. Okay. We were defeated. So, shall we have a look at the scenario? How long is this video? I think this video is long enough. So there's the game, guys. It's basically a board game-ish war game hexes lots of awesome units stop clicking buttons and uh, not that easy it looks like <laughs> but i'm pretty bad as you may know so yeah thumbs up from me i like this game and if they expand it with more factions it's gonna be awesome multiplayer might be pretty fun and yeah i think it's 25 percent off at the moment up until december 3rd so if you're thinking about getting it you might want to act sooner rather than later. There you have it, guys. Warhammer 40k Armageddon from Slytherin. Thumbs up from Indrid. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.